day four of the Monsoon Cup and the qualifying stages are nearly complete. The dramatic events of yesterday have ruled out the current world champion Adam Minoprio and presented yet another all or nothing day for Matthew Richard. With Minoprio out of the picture, Richard has eliminated a lethal challenger, but there are more waiting in the wings. Ben Ainsley's first race of the day is against Ian Williams. It's Brit versus Brit, and it will decide the winner of the qualifiers. You know, we're the, the two Brits on the tour, so it's um, personally, it's you know, it's a, it's a big race to win, and, and, and we always want to want to be beating Ben. We join the race at its deciding moment. He's trying to force Williams to tack away, isn't he? Yeah, but they're almost at the ley line. Yes, that's the key point. Are they going to run out of it? Yeah, there's nowhere Ainsley can go really here. Well, Ainsley's luffing. Big luff from Ainsley. Jib's come down. Ainsley's trying to force Williams to attack. He hasn't done it yet. Or he's got to try and... Hey, don't turn more, Curtis! Win that. It's called head to win. Oh, there's a lot of chatter. This is good stuff. Williams blue, Ainsley yellow. Just in case there's anything happens. Yellow. Oh, yellow. Ainsley against Ainsley, isn't it? Yes. Oh dear. That's not what Ben Ainsley wanted at all. So Williams wins it. Ben Ainsley has lost his chance of first pick of opponent for the quarterfinals. So his opportunity to knock out the current tour leader rests in the hands of Ian Williams. We know who, who we'd like to sell in the next round. Obviously it depends who Ian picks now. It's always a, a, a tough decision and uh, it can often come back to bite you, but, but we know who we're going to be picking. He might pick us. Um, who knows? So we'll just have to wait and see what happens and uh, if we get the opportunity to pick or we'll sell the person that we want to, well, we'll, we'll do that. We're going to pick uh, Bjorn Hansen. Bjorn Hansen, ladies and gentlemen, is the toys of Ian Williams. We'd like to sell Matthew and his team. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Matthew Richard of France. We, uh, we know that we can make it, but uh, we also know that Ben and his team are very strong and, and we know it will be tough, but uh, we'll fight, uh, we'll fight and, and think we, we can do it. It's all open um, and uh, it's going to be a very exciting quarter, quarter finals. Hopefully we can make it through and have a, have a shot at, at getting the world title. If Richard wins this quarter final, he's won the ISAF World Match Racing Tour title. It all rests on this first to three point showdown. Here they come back together again. Rashad has copped the penalty. Rashad has copped the penalty. Boy, that was some collision. What are you doing, man? Right, stand by for the penalty. Now remember, Rashad is blue, Ainsley's yellow. So they're going through the penalty now. And here goes Ainsley, no problem to Ainsley, surely. Here goes Richard, and it's yellow Ainsley. Ben Ainsley. Oh, well, too much. We joined Ben Ainsley and Mathieu Richard for the second quarter-final race. Richard could, could hook us here. No. OK, speed back up, 20 seconds to go. 20 seconds to go. Richard right behind us, very close indeed. Very early. Ainsley decides to push Richard over. Richard's going to be over the line. Richard is going to be over the line. Richard's going to be over. Richard's going to be over. Richard is over. And there's, and there's contact. And it's only Richard that's over. We're going to see what the umpires have got to say. What have the umpires got to say? It's yellow flag with a red. He's got to do it immediately. Well, Richard could have tacked away there, I think. 
but Richard's done his penalty immediately. I wonder whether Richard. Oh, this is bad news for Richard because he was still over the line. So Richard's had to go back. Now Richard is clear, and I think he's still got to do a penalty. He does. He's got it. It's a red. It's a red flag. So yeah. not only did Richard have to. Oh. Well, Ainsley just nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Perfect start. The wind slowly disappeared towards the end of the race, and Richard's light air expertise brought him to the finish ahead of Ainsley, making it one all. The third race was won in the pre start. Ainsley started well and led all the way round to win. And there's the signal. And Ben Ainsley has beaten Matthew Richard in race four. Matthew Richard still has a chance of winning the world title, but his fate is in Ben Ainsley's hands. Confirming the quarterfinals of the Monsoon Cup 2010. And Bjorn Hansen beat Ian Williams 3-1. Ben Ainsley beat world number one Matthew Richard 3-1. It was a thriller in the match between Radic and Bruni in the end, it went to five, the only quarterfinal it did, and Jesper Radic three beat Francisco Bruni two. And in the just completed quarterfinal, Torvar Mirsky three has beaten Peter Gilmore. And so, to the semi finals tomorrow, it's Bjorn Hansen, Ben Ainsley, Jesper Radic, and Torvar Mirsky.